I'm Jennifer Patterson, Registered Dietitian with Sedona North Healing Arts. Today, welcome to our next episode of Eating for Your Genes. Today, I'd like to talk about iron. So in your nutrigenomics report, we can assess your risk for two different types, iron overload as well as low iron status. So we know that iron overload is a medical condition called hemochromatosis. And this can be addressed with smart nutrition recommendations. We can also address low iron status by also making very wise nutrition choices. So today, I just wanted to show you a couple of different practical ways that we can include iron rich foods in our diets. There's actually two types of iron. One is called heme iron and heme iron you find in things like beef, pork, chicken, fish, and non-heme iron. Now non-heme iron is found in things like nuts and seeds, dried fruits, breakfast cereals, beans, and lentils. So a way that we can incorporate iron rich foods is things like breakfast cereal, maybe sprinkled with some dried fruit, as well as some nuts. Now, vitamin C helps our bodies absorb iron better. So, did you know that by sprinkling a little bit of fruit on top of your breakfast cereal can actually help your body absorb that iron better? It is advised to keep your coffee and tea consumption to between meals versus with meals if you are struggling with getting the right amount of iron in your diet for you. Another way that we can look at incorporating iron rich foods is cooking with things like beef, pork, chicken, and fish. So today I just wanted to show you some, a neat idea of how to put together a Thai beef and basil stir fry. So here I have some sirloin steak strips. I've chopped up some fresh peppers. I've got some orange peppers as well as some red peppers. I've got some fresh carrots chopped as well as some fresh Thai basil, some ginger root, as well as some green onions. So this is a nutrition powerhouse because you see we've got our source of heme iron, but also we've got some excellent vegetables here that are good sources of vitamin C. So we'll really be working to absorb that iron better. Now, it is important to know that if you do struggle with low iron levels, and this is confirmed by a blood test with your doctor, that you don't take iron supplements unless they have been prescribed. Now, women who are pregnant do have higher iron needs, and they will be taking a prenatal vitamin, plus be encouraged to consume iron-rich foods as well. So if you have any questions on how nutrigenomics can help you optimize your wellness and achieve your health outcomes, don't hesitate to give us a shout. Thanks, and thanks for joining us.